YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Movie Zone. Your host, Jonathan, aka the Doctor Movies, and today we're gonna talk about the Hunger Games Mocking Jay Part 2. That's right, Katniss Everdeen, it's finally over. You join Harry Potter and the Twilight Soccer and soon to be the Divergent series of all those great books come to an end. Now let's talk about your movie. Does this movie live up to the other ones? Let's find out, shall we? Okay, so in this movie, if you have not seen the other Hunger Games, basically Hunger Games is about 12 districts, you know, they compete in a bunch of games for survival, to be rich, famous, whatever you can. But there's also this other politician stories about this, and in this one, Katniss Everdeen has got to finally find a way to get rid of President Snow and take him out and keep him out of the capital because the capital is basically destroying everything and every other district must rebel together to join the cause and stop President Snow from committing more crime that he's already done. So, in this one now, Katniss now knows what she needs to do. She wants to go to the capital to kill Snow. So, Jennifer Lawrence once returns once again as Katniss Everdeen and does this movie live up? Yes, it does, and yes, it does not, for a couple of reasons. Like I said, I'm not one of those hardcore fans who read the book. I missed this book. I never got a chance to read it. But you know what? Going into this movie, I was expecting some more from this one than the part one. Because part one, to me, I did have a review about that one. You can look it up if you want. I did say it felt too much of a poli you know, politic movie. You know, her you know, making commercials here and there, telling everybody that she's... You know, the revolution, that she, you should follow her, and how they should go to the capital and do what they have to do. This one basically tells how now she, to, her mission is to go into the capital, but the capital, and of course President Snow has plans, has traps for Katniss and her team, and all hell breaks loose. So, does this movie live up? Sure it does. Couple of reasons. One, the pace is okay. I mean, there are some moments... Where if you, if you have never read the book, you have to understand this pace. The pace is kind of slow, but yet that's a negative. But also it's a positive because if you never read the book, how are you going to understand it? You know what I mean? They, they, they talk about what they have to explain, why they have to go there, why this has to be done. Why is that there? Why is that there? You know what I mean? Have to explain it. But they're doing a good pace. However, there are also pretty good action scenes here. I thought... There were some shots here. There's this one shot where she's finding like, it felt like a sci-fi kind of thing where she fights like these monsters. Very well, very well shot. Very, very good action scene. I thought it was. And then, you know, the, you know the characters of the of the whole Hunger Games are in this. Most of them who are still alive. You have Peta. You have Gale. You have Hamage. You have basically President Snow. You have all of them here, and they all do a good job. However, you know, they all good. Jennifer Lawrence, to me, she has proven herself why she's a very good actress. I mean, she's been a, been around in movies before this, but she wasn't really recognizable until Hunger Games. And now that Hunger Games, is, this is what I like about the Hunger Games. Because, you know, if you go watch Harry Potter or you watch The Twilight, those actors and, you know, those, those movies, you know, they hardly are getting you know, recognized in other movies, except for, like, Emily, uh, Emma Watson, who's, you know, who's been in a couple of movies, and she's still pretty good, you know? So, but, you know, Jennifer Lawrence, she's been around, she's done other movies, from Civil Line and Playbook to American Hustle, you know? She's getting Oscar nominations, she's winning an Oscar, so she's getting recognized. So, when you see her in other movies, you're not going to just go, oh, the Hunger Games girl. She's a very good actress, and she proves it here again that she is Katniss. And yes, my opinion, I think she could be Hawkeye any day of the week. Green Arrow, that's a different story, but, you know, let's just talk about this all the time. Anyway, like I said, you know, this, for me, as a person who didn't read the last book, I felt that watching this, I understood it. I got what, what where they were going with it, the terms of how the book was going to end. I kind of took some guesses of how... Certain characters might have died in this. You know, there are certain... Um, it's not much of a spoiler. I don't even tell you who it is. But, you know, characters die in certain books. And, you know, something was going to happen here. I kind of figured it was going to happen. Just by 
you know, taken a guess, and I was kind of right about it. There was just one major character, not well, not much of a major character, but she was pretty, you know, she's pretty in that crowd of, you know, one of the main characters. I kind of figured she was going to die from the very first movie. I looked at her, I was like, yep, going to die. But let's we'll see what happens. Hmm, did she or did she not? That's all I'm going to say. But anyway, not not every movie is perfect. This movie does have some flaws. I mean, there are some scenes here I didn't didn't quite get. Not because I didn't understand it. I just felt like the shots weren't right, you know used properly. Like for instance, there's a scene, and this is in the trailer, so this is not much of a spoiler. So, but if you've never seen the trailer, if you've ever seen anything about this, fast forward this a little bit. In the trailer, it shows you know Captain is running, and there's like this black tar that follows her. And and when that scene comes, it looks pretty cool visually, but it, it doesn't do anything. It, it shows what it does, but then and then something happens, and then they they just pass by it like it's nothing. I'm like. Okay, then what was the point of this? It, it just felt like kind of flat to me, but also I felt that um, you know the Peter Katniss romance wasn't there. I you know something happened to him. If you never seen the first part, you might should see the first part because I'm gonna talk about the first part a little bit. He kind of got messed up after what happened in Catching Fire because he got k taken to the Capitol and they kind of brainwashed him. So in this one, he's trying to figure out how, who you know, who he is, what's going on. He doesn't know what's real, what's not. You know, I just felt that part couldn't have been handled better. The way, you know, Katniss shouldn't have been like, "Oh, listen, this is me. This is you. We kick butt. We're supposed to be together." La 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 la. Let's do this. Nope. It just takes a whole other turn, where it has to go to basically the whole movie of him trying to figure out what's real and what's not. But you know what? The way it happens is just fine, I guess. I mean, the way it ended with him, it was, you know, whatever. You know, you could forgive it because, you know, things happen that kind of redeems that, but you'll see what I mean. And then we get to a point that even I didn't expect. Like, I didn't read the book, so like I said, I didn't expect this part to come. Big plot twist. I was like, wait a minute. They did just turn completely left. It's not a negative. This is a pretty, I mean, pretty good, good scenario. I was like, whoa. But then you get to the main ending. Then you get to the main ending where you see Katniss. She's about to do the main thing that you think she wants to do. And she's been talking about all in the trailers. And then you figure out, like, right away, even before she does it, you figure out right away what's going to happen. I mean, they couldn't hit that a little bit better. In my opinion, I felt like in the trailer they gave her that away. I kind of figured it out from the trailer. I didn't read the book. I mean, I didn't talk to any of my friends who read the book and told me about this, but... You know what? It was it was still good, but... What can you do? I just still feel so sad that it was it's over, but you know what? Oh, speaking of things, another good positive here. If you're a Harry Potter fan, and you watch this movie, and you like Hunger Games too, look at this movie very carefully. Watch this very carefully. There are so many moments in this movie, I felt like I was watching Harry Potter Part 2 all over again. You're going to know what I mean if you're a big Harry Potter fan. You're going to know what I mean when you see these shots. It's so ridiculous, hilarious how it's like similar in so many ways. It's so cool and creepy at the same time. But yeah, it was it was good for me. But yeah, like I said, and you know, back to the negatives. I felt some parts that I understand could have been handled better, like... The pacing of the movie, okay, we get why they have to do this. They explain that in the first one. See, this is why I don't understand. A lot of people are talking about how this movie shouldn't even be two parts. It shouldn't have just been one movie and it would have been over. But, okay, I'm like, okay, some movies, you know, you know some books are kind of huge. This book wasn't that big, apparently, I'm, I'm hearing from friends. So, I couldn't debate on what to agree with them or not to agree with them. But I do agree with this. I mean, honestly, if... In the trailers, they explain this too, but you know how in the first, if you've seen the first one, you understand what they have to do, what their mission is. In this one, they shouldn't have just went there and done it. You know, they don't have to keep explaining to them why they have to do this. I just felt like, what's the point of telling us this over and over and over again? I know there's a lot of people who are watching the movie 
who never read the book, but come on. We know what you're going to do. This is part two. You're supposed to go kill President Snow and, you know, be done with it. Let the games be over finally. But nope, they got to explain, well, we got to do this. Why we got to do this? He has to be stopped, blah, 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 blah. It, it just, I mean, I'm like, okay, can you, like, wrap it up, please? But, yeah, that's pretty much another negative for me. But, you know what? Pacing, whatever, was okay. Like I said, I felt like they took that part out and just, just went to what they had to do to go after him. I would have been like, okay, that much better. But I still enjoyed this movie because it was just fun. You know, I mean, Hunger Games, the Hunger Games movie are pretty good. I mean, this is not my, by far, my favorite. Number, for me, my favorite was number two, the, the Catching Fire, and then followed by part one, the first one, that part one of Mockingjay, and then this will be last. But I still liked it. I still had fun with it. Gonna miss this, you know, this Hunger Games franchise. I mean, they might make sequels, maybe prequels to this, but... I don't know what they can do with that. I mean, we're getting Harry Potter again, so at least that's good, right? So, let me actually, let me ask you a question now, all of you. Do you like the Hunger Games? And, of course, which is your favorite? Have you read the books? Have you watched the movies? Do you prefer the movies? Do you prefer the books? Let me know, because honestly, we got to talk about this. Oh, to give this a score, I really had to think about this. I really, really had to think about this. I scored the other ones a little bit higher than this one. This might get a little low, but it's not too low. But I'm still going to give it an 8 because I really like this movie a lot. Minus the problems here and there and there. I really liked it a lot, and especially the ending. The very, very end of the movie really got me. I was like, ah, I can see that. I'll tell you, I was watching this movie and there were so many scenes in here. It's like, it reminds me of Harry Potter. Like I said, if you're hardcore Harry Potter fans, you might know what I'm talking about if you go watch this movie. Let me comment below if you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen these scenes. But yeah, I think it's it's a good movie. It's fun. It's not the best of all all the Hunger Games movies. By far, I think number two is the best. But you know what? We gotta say thank you to Jennifer Lawrence because she did a good job in this franchise. It's over now. Now she can move on with her life and do other movies. I mean, horror, more horror movies, dramatic movies. Maybe win some more Oscars. Who knows? But yeah, I'm giving the movie Hunger Games Mac and J Part 2 an 8. So, let me know what you think about it. Have you seen it? Have you not going to see it? Read the books? Not the books? Let me know. And I'll tell you, I'll see you next week with another review of something. Thank you and have a good day.